A pregnant woman in Sudan sentenced to death for being a Christian. And in Nigeria, the kidnapping of schoolgirls by the terror group Boko Haram just are the latest examples, those two, in what has become a shocking trend of global religious persecution. So what is being done to speak out, to stop these actions around the world? Shannon Bream is live in Washington. Shannon, what role can the U.S. play in this truly global issue? Well, Martha, from foreign aid to taking a stand internationally, the U.S. has a lot of weight to throw around on the international stage. And keep in mind, along with those international cases, there are American citizens who are being held in foreign countries. We think of Saeed Abedini in Iran and Kenneth Bay in North Korea, both of them because of their Christian faith. Uh, and yet the U.S. seems uh, at this point unable to get them freed or to speak out on some of these other issues in a more profound way. Uh, I want to let you hear from Johnny Moore, senior vice president at Liberty University. He's been traveling the world and writing about these cases. Here's what he says. We have a vacant ambassadorship in international religious freedom. It's been vacant for eight months. You know, the president three months ago said that he looked forward to appointing someone to that position. We've got to get on this. We've got to get moving on this because these incidences are, are getting worse and people are dying and, and, and these bad actors feel more and more bold to do more and more. And that ambassadorship is a key voice for the U.S. And as Johnny pointed out there, I mean, it's been uh, since October since anyone has held that position, despite promises by the president and the White House to get it filled. Martha. Shocking report. Shannon, thank you very much.